What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be taking care of another issue with my daughter's 2001 VW Bug. And that's going to be replacing the front passenger's seatbelt. All right, so the first step in replacing the seatbelt is to get access behind this panel on the B pillar. So what I'm going to do is just going to pop out the, the trim. Should just lock into some clips. There we go. I'll take it all the way off. Just gotta get room to get to get back here. Also gonna get so in this car, the original seatbelt, somebody had cut it out. So just gonna have to. get in here and get it basically get everything out of the way be an 18 millimeter sorry 17 millimeter the seat belt that I got from the pick apart I grabbed the entire thing so I have everything that I need I even grabbed the hardware so you know, one thing you may want to keep in mind if you're going to get one of these from the pick apart, make sure you get the hardware with it. That should go for anything you get from the pick apart. Always try to get the hardware. So here's the, the entire seatbelt that I grabbed. Like I said I already have the hardware, but this one's already here, so use this one just gonna, just gonna start the bolts I'm not gonna thread everything in yet I just want to get things kind of started anyway I have room to maneuver all right this one the, the re retracting mechanism mounts I don't want to take that. I can't take this all the way off. There's a bracket right here that it mounts behind. Um, yeah, it's just going to plug in right there. This one actually, when I pulled this from the pick apart, I just cut the, the harness beyond the connector. So I wasn't sure what we already had here in the car. So let's see if I can... There we go. So, don't need that since the original one in the car is still here. All right, let me see if I can bring you around here and show you some of the issues I was having. All right, so there is the mount behind that B pillar trim. So the first issue I was having was getting this tine to line up and figure out that I had to drop down in order to get the bolt to line up. That was the first one. The second issue I was having was right there. So this connector, this is the wiring connector for the seatbelt. And it appears that if this isn't engaged properly, then the seatbelt can't be extended. But, so I had a hell of a time getting that connector, that brass with the blue connector on there, right there, installed. So that was a little difficult. But now that I got that installed, I got the bolt lined up. I can tighten that bolt down, tighten the bolt down up there in the shoulder harness, and then I'll show you what happens down here. Oh. 
Now for down here at the bottom, the bottom part here of the seatbelt has this loop in it. And that loops around this rod right here. So in order to get that one off, as you see here, somebody had cut this seatbelt off originally. So this is the little more difficult. I mean, the carpet's in the way. You're trying not to, when I pulled it from the pick apart, I didn't really care. I may or may not have snapped a piece of trim. Maybe. Can neither confirm nor deny. Um, but obviously, this one I'm gonna to try to be a little more careful. So this, the, the, the rod actually comes down under the carpet and loops back around. And there's a nut down, or a, uh, a bolt down there, it's gotta come out. And it's a little difficult to get to. Um, remember right, I just did it with an extension. I think it was the same size even. I'll let you know here in just a second. So I'm trying not to, I can't pull this all the way off. Pull up some of this bottom trim here. It might make it a little bit easier to pull some more carpet back. There we go. Let's do. And the back one is, I believe that's an Allen. Yep, that is an Allen. Let me see if I can go find me an Allen. That one will be easier to, to work with. There we go. So that one is the number six Allen. Now I apologize, but obviously there's not a whole lot of room here to work and sort of get video going. Bend this rod out of here a little bit. Take off the old, the old piece of seat belt that's there. And this really isn't difficult. It's just in an awkward spot and there's not a whole lot of room to really, really maneuver. But there's the old piece of seatbelt. Now, you pull this down and around. Just trying to get my hands in here where I can, I got it started on the rod. Now I'm just trying to, to thread it around. There we go. And there it is. I'll put all the... Put the carpet back where it belongs. And we install the trim. Oops. This one actually has to slide around there. There we go. and put the little used little thing on there. And that's how you replace a, uh, a seat belt. Helps when I put the rod back in. Damn it. <laughs> And there you have it. Front passenger seatbelt is replaced. Um, it's actually really simple. Even with all of the little issues I had getting the bolt hole lined up on the retractor and getting the, the connector lined up so the belt would actually extend correctly so I could mess with it, getting that, that connector in there. Even with those issues, this was really only like a, what, a 15 minute job, maybe? So, really simple. So, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, 
I'll catch you on the next one.